Let's look at the Load Track Drivers app. The Load Track Drivers app can be run on any phone, any device, with a screen, uh, with a browser, and with internet connectivity. Apple's iPhone, an Android phone, Windows phone, uh, they all work. So let's get started. For this example, we'll be using the iPhone and the Safari browser. So let's navigate to web.loadtrack. Dot net slash mobile. And again, I'm using the Safari browser to uh, go here, but you can use any browser. Now, before we go any further, you can save this web page or any web page for that matter, but you can save this web page to the home screen of your phone as an app which means you don't have to go to your browser every time and you don't have to type in the web address every time. So let's add this shortcut, make an app on our home screen. So on Apple's iPhone, it's real easy down at the bottom. You'll see a shortcut uh, button right in the middle. So I'm gonna hit this bottom middle button to add shortcut to home screen. I can change the name if I'd like and it's added. If you're using Google's Android phone, uh, tap menu and tap add to home screen. So let's open it up and look at it. The first time you use this app, uh, you'll need to enter your company name as given to you by your dispatcher. After the first time, you won't be asked to do this again until you clean out your uh, cache and your history in your browser. Next, I'll be asked for my driver number. I'm asked for this every time. And my driver's passcode, again, I'm asked for this every time. And now I'm clocked in. So let's talk about the Low Trek Drivers app. The Low Trek Drivers app allows drivers to view their hours of service. You can see how many hours you've worked, uh, how many hours you have available. If you're on a break, off duty, and a sleeper, you can see when you can be released back to work. You can log in and out for work when not around an ELD. You're not in a commercial motor vehicle, but you need to log your time for things like safety meetings, office work, shop work, uh, personal vehicle travel time, to and from work assignments. You can log your time worked at other companies. If you're a CDL holder, you have to log all time worked, even if you're not driving. And it allows you to view and accept route assignments. I can look at my dispatch for today, for tomorrow, for the coming days, see where I have to go, when I have to be there, what I need to do when I get there. This is one way to communicate to dispatch that I've looked at my route. Uh, it's one way to communicate to dispatch that I've looked at my route, I've agreed, and I can complete this. Or if there's an issue and I have to uh, be off for a day, this is a way to communicate to dispatch that I need to be off for a certain day. So let's start by looking at routes. I'm going to tap on the bottom route screen. And let's look at the first route, 172.131 for 10.8. This is a route. Uh, that starts at Low Trek Arlington and ends at Cape Mattress Company. If I need more information on any particular route or any particular stop, I can just tap on that item. So let's look at the first stop. Low Trek Arlington gives me a load number. I'm supposed to be there at 830. I'm already late. And it gives me the backdoor code. Now let's go back. Let's look at Cape Mattress Company. Let's look at that stop. That's my final stop up in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Supposed to be there at 12 o'clock noon tomorrow. There's my load number. And I have comments about my dock assignment and my backhaul. So let's go back. I will accept that route. I click accept and I confirm by clicking OK. So you'll see that route turns green. Let's look at the route for the 9th. From Brown Printing and Woodstock to PF Madison. Again, any comments, any directions, anything I need to know, I will accept that route. Let's look at the route for the 10th. I've asked for the 10th off. 
I can't work on the 10th, so I will reject this route. And this lets dispatch know that I'm unavailable. And then on the 11th, let's look at this uh, route. Uh, first stop is Seats Incorporated, 745 in Reedsburg, Wisconsin. Second stop is Abraham and Sons, uh, 1525 arrival, Milwaukee. I can accept that. So that's how routes works. And you can see the color codes there based on how I've treated each route. Now let's look at hours of service. So currently, it shows right here, I've been on duty uh, so far today, uh, 49 minutes, and I'm currently not driving. Tap on hours of service, this brings up my status screen. So this screen here allows me to change my status, but notice what happens when I move my phone horizontal, when I move my phone sideways. Now I'm looking at my log. Here's my log for today. Here's my log for the 7th, on the 6th I was off, here's my log for the 5th, the 4th, and when I turn my phone back to vertical, I'm back to my status screen. If I choose to go off duty, tap and confirm change status. And if I choose to go, and you can see up the upper right, it confirms my status every time. And if I choose to go on duty not driving, yes, confirm, and confirmed. So this screen right here allows you to clock in and clock out for any purpose when I'm not in a truck. And again, when I move my phone horizontally, I can see my log, move my phone back vertically, and I can clock into any status. I can make comments in my ELD. Now I'll put a comment on my log and I'll save it. When I wish to go back to the home screen, simply go back to the home screen. So that's your Low Trek Drivers app. If you have any questions, visit our webpage, www.lowtrek.net, or talk to your supervisor.